Hello guys, welcome back to building a trading platform in C Sharp Part 4 Time and Sales. And this is what a time and sales is. It uh, displays the last price that went through and how many shares and the time. And this is what it looks like on my trading platform. And this is what it looks like on the Interactive Brokers trading platform. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in the form here in Visual Studio and our trading platform. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of this uh, next valid order ID. You can still leave it on if you want, but I'm going to get rid of it. So delete that. And then you got to go back to your form file, form one file. And Get rid of this part. That sends the number to the next valid order ID number to your um, text box. So we're not going to use it anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. The number will be stored in order ID, but we still need to use that number. So that'll be in order ID. And then there's another piece of that down in this red part down here you can see the red in this scroll column that's where the error is because that text box is no longer on my form that's why I'm getting a red error why it's underlined so I'm going to get rid of that so I don't need it okay the next thing I want to do is add a list view and get that from your toolbox from right here put that on your form go to your properties and you want columns and add three columns Set that one to price, the text. And this one to shares. The last one, time. And make it 80 for the width okay and there's a little arrow up here on this pointing to the right click on that and make sure the view is details and that shows your column headers Okay, we want to change the font size. Bold and I guess 10. Okay. I want to change the background color. I'm changing mine to black. And the four color to white. name it list view TNS okay before I go any further I want to discuss how do you get your time and sales data and there's some documentation that you can get off of the interactive brokers website and their github thing here in their under C sharp available tick types and normally what you would do is you get the last price and the size um, with your tick price and tick size but it's saying it does not include some trades and RT volume real-time volume so what I do is go to real-time volume here scroll down which is 48 and I need to 
use the tick string and I need to remember this number so when I request the data I need this number and so I'll leave a link to this in the description too okay here in your form 1 file here under the method here get data uh, down here at the bottom where it says request market data you want to put that number 233 in here now if you had other numbers uh, that you wanted to request data from you would use a comma and add them here okay moving on from here go to your e wrapper file here and then look for your tick string and type this code in here um, and this contains the last price trade size trade time trade volume VWAP single trade flag true or false six items all together and this is an example of the code that um, is passed on which is the actual value it, you have your ticker ID your tick type and the value the value is this string here this example and it's separated by uh, semicolons here so when you get a tick type of 48 you take the value that string and pass it on to your form one so we're going to need to add some stuff like a delegate to form one so we're going to do that right here just under our get data so add that here and another thing we got to add is another method add that here okay this is for the um, tick string that's sent over um, yeah, we get the bid price and the ask price from the uh, text box from our form and the tick string that we sent over from the e-wrapper it's we want to split it according to the semicolons um, this thing you don't really need here and so then you get the first value from the list and convert it to a double this value is the last price so that's what I named the variable and the second item which is number one if you count from zero that's the trade size so we convert that to an integer because it comes across as a string and same thing for the trade time we put that in a variable with the double value with the double variable okay this uh, just adds two zeros to the um, share amount instead of having to convert it because usually when it comes across it'll just be one and you have to just uh, assume that it's a hundred and this formats the string uh, with commas in it okay and then you get the time the time comes across as a epoch time and so you want to change that into something you can read instead of having just one long set of numbers oh and this is if you're you're um, on daylight savings time like summer or winter time so in the winter time which is now when I'm doing this video you have to subtract the value that you get um, 
by 5 and then you format the string so that's hours minutes seconds and tenths of sec or one hundredths of a second I'm also taking the mean price the middle price from the bid and the ask that's what that is and then I add that to the bid so I know what the mean price is so when I come down here I have um, four options one is if the ASCII equals the last price and another one is the bid if it equals the last price and this is if the last price is greater than the mean and the last price is less than the ask then you change the color basically so when the information comes across and you want to put it in your list view this is how I do it you have to create this list view item right here that needs to be in there and this is how you put it into the list view so that's changing the color of the font and this will be the last price that comes across and the share size and the time and then that puts it all at the top of the list form if you put zero it'll put it at the beginning if you put any other and if you put any other number it will put it wherever that is in the list so you have to use zero and the same for this okay let's test it out I'm gonna press start here minimize this hit connect okay prices are coming in and if I change the symbol to Tesla getting the Tesla prices and oh I still got the Microsoft prices in there so I have to correct that so go back to where you get your data and type in list view time and sales items clear and close brackets and semicolon okay now let's try it out minimize connect okay got the Microsoft prices coming in Tesla okay that clears up the Microsoft prices and now we're getting Tesla prices okay now before I dismiss class please like and subscribe